Hi friends. Uh, we, everybody knows that you know water is a big major crisis now. There is no water any. There is no water, and the water is getting depleted. And there are a lot of ways to you know to get water. But one of the best way to have water continuously at your premises or to uh, to not depend on others like you know bore well or even tankers. One of the best way is through sewage treatment plants. And the sewage treatment plants has its own complexity and uh, you know problems uh, in uh, on its own. But we have a person who knows of, who has been in this field for around 35 years, and he has he has come up he has faced lot of uh, uh, technologies. He has gone through a lot of processes, and also uh, he has consulted to many uh, government bodies, be it, uh, and private companies. Let us get to know more about him and what he does. I am Arun Karnakaran, and he is Mr. Kishore. Hello, friends. I am Kishore. I consult for uh, Oxio, which is the trade name of Aditya Enterprises. Now, Oxio has come out with several unique solutions for treatment of sewage. And uh, in this session, we are going to have some uh, questions raised by Arun on sewage treatment. Uh, it would be a pleasure for me to probably answer some of these questions which is going to ask now. Thank you sir. The questions that I am going to ask is it has been asked by the clients and uh, even I also have some doubts and uh, it is better that you know we get it we get to know more about even though to the technical part of what is happening in the sewage treatment and a lot more. So the first question is sir everybody is asking what is sewage and how is wastewater treated? This is a very interesting aspect of uh, our subject. Water when consumed or utilized by living beings, it's just contaminated. So if you had to use water for any purpose, it is simply touched by humans. The water cannot be reused for any other purpose. We call it contamination. Apart from this, water is used for several purposes, for cleaning, for using, for, for, for bathing, for uh, many other purposes like cooking and then also for flushing in your toilets. Now all this water constitute together, it's called sewage. So how, uh, just generally how is the water treated, like wastewater treated? The moment water is contaminated, what happens is there is a level of organic contamination which occurs because of human touch or use for various other purposes. The main uh, uses in domestic, uh, in the domestic uh, uses is your kitchen, your floor wash, your bathing, and your toilet. Now all these, uh, all these processes when water is used, it is contaminated, it has an organic uh, complex which gets built up into the water which requires to be treated. Okay sir, like uh, what are the uh, technologies or what are the process to treat the waste water? There are several uh, ways to treat uh, sewage. There is no such thing as uh, this is the only way to treat or some other way is the only way to go about it. Ultimately, it is the economics and the ability to treat wastewater to get absolutely clean, decontaminated water for either releasing it into the natural streams or perhaps reusing it for some other purpose. Okay, sir. So, suppose many people are asking, like, why should we treat the wastewater in our premises, or why, you know, the, we can ask the government itself to treat? This has been a challenge in most parts of the country, in most parts of the country in India. Uh, the the infrastructure in most places is lacking. 
many places do not have the undergrade, uh, under, underground drainage system. There has been a, a difficult situation because a lot of places don't have even, even accessibility to lay these pipelines. If, if you had to start now to, uh, to lay the underground drainage works, perhaps there would be no place to walk also. So there is a major challenge which uh, all our cities and towns are facing currently. Most of the people have resorted to having septic tanks in the smaller towns where the underground drainage did not exist. So with the years of uh, uh, no system to treat the wastewater, the the, the overflow from the septic tanks have started now creating nuisance value to the society. It has become a serious issue which has to be addressed very soon. So are you suggesting that we can have a uh, decentralized system in our own premises? The current uh, situation is such, yes, decentralized systems could be one of the ways to look at it because uh, uh, fecal management, sludge management has become a huge problem. It is very unhygienic for uh, people to uh, manually unload these tanks or, or you know, have humans come in contact with this kind of uh, solid and liquid waste. Okay, so you are suggesting that uh, a sludge won't be produced in our system or do we also have to handle sludge? in our system? Uh, see, sewage treatment is a very complex uh, issue. Although it is not impossible to treat water, what happens is if you have a large plant with a properly uh, managed planned infrastructure to with, with the network of drainage systems to bring it to a central point and have a large uh, sewage treatment plant, perhaps that would have been an ideal thing. Uh, it would be the most preferable way of treating sewage. Unfortunately, the situation uh, is not so. So we have had to look at solutions to decentralize this, maybe have a couple of uh, units, residences, uh, jointly have one small system to treat their waste and then ensure that the treated water is safe enough for disposal so that people do not come in contact with any raw waste water which is uh, which is you know very unsightly uh, produces a lot of odor and also a health hazard 